Hello students, in this video we will see how we can draw the orthographic projection by using an isometric projection that is a 3D picture. So from this one we need to have the three views. One is the front view in the direction which they have shown like X and one will be the right side view which will be appearing to the sorry, left side view which will be appearing to the right side and one will be the top view. So in order to uh, draw the orthographic projection here, first you need to observe the sketch properly okay, and the dimensions. So for example, now if you see from here, okay, first see the outer boundary, it will be 104 and the height will be uh, 48 and again 104 and 48. Okay, So it will be uh, something like a rectangle and in the rectangle, uh, again you can see there is a line which goes from yeah, the height of this one will be 16, 16, 16. Means this 48 will be divided into three parts, and you can see one, two, and three lines uh, which are at an equidistant, that is a, a 16 one, but they will not run from end to end, they will be disrupted here yeah, at a 24 mm from the right side. Okay, so here yeah, what we can do here is so let's say, uh, say like a uh, we we'll drop the first, it's a 104, enter, and it's a 0, and the height will take it like directly 48 and then 90. Then again, we'll say like 104, enter, uh, minus 180, enter, and we we'll drop it here. So, this is something like one outer uh, boundary where we can have uh, the line here. So once you take up the outer line, so just to make sure that like, so this is what exactly 104 in the front view and uh, this is what exactly 48, okay. So now we can see here, there's a line uh, from this corner, that is a, a left corner from this one. So it goes up to 16, that is 16, enter vertical line 90, okay, and it comes here. So there is a distance of 24, that is 104 minus 24 it is almost 80 enter 0 okay so here there is a line and which goes till this point okay so let me just go with the distance between this and this is a 24 okay so now what we can do we can even offset this one uh, we can go with the one more line from here it's a 16 enter then 90 and we can add up here okay so that also okay so this is how exactly so means uh, when you see from the front view so you can see this line will coincide with this line will coincide with it so we'll see one two and three steps so we can see one two and three steps which are again dis differentiated are separated with the distance of 16 16 and Fixed it. Okay, so this is how exactly we can do the front view. So now everything is visible, so we can make all the lines. Dot. Okay, so this is the front view. We'll keep it here. And so now when we are dropping this one, we need to have the top view and the side view. So we'll have x and y lines here okay so now when you see from the side okay the side again it's a 48 and this is a 72 okay so we can see one rectangle in line with this one you can just say from here it's a 72 enter 0 and height of this one you can just take with the alignment indicator that is also fine or else we can go with the 72 enter minus 180 enter okay so now here it, it looks like one step okay so 16 and here 24 24 24 means 
24 into 3 okay so it is almost uh, 72 so so 24 24 and 24 it comes 72 and it looks something like one step here okay so which is differentiated from here okay so now when you see from here okay so the from the right end here okay the first step is now this height will be of 16 16 enter 90 enter okay the first step will be of 24 24 enter minus 180 enter okay now again goes up again it's 16 enter 90 enter now again the second step again it will come 24 enter minus 180 enter okay next it will come enter. okay so now you can see three steps one two and three so one two and a three okay so now here we can see one a line with the uh, uh, three steps okay let's just mark these things here we'll go with the smart dimension the first is the 24 second one will be 24 that is what 24 24 and again this will be after 24 we'll go with the distance between 20. okay so that's how exactly we can see uh, this line so now if you make this one the visible lines dark so this is how exactly it will be visible and let's say like this line it is shown with a dimension and make this and these lines dotted dark lines dark line 24 okay and one more is here this is 16 this is 16 okay so that's how exactly we can drop the side view of this one okay so when it comes to the top view okay so we can go with the top view let's say now again it is of 104 and 72 it is of 72 and 104 so what we can do here is we will take up a line which is of 0.13 so we will take up here 104 enter 0 enter 72 enter 90 enter and again 104 enter minus 90 sorry minus 180 enter so we can just close this one no copy off and here move from this corner in line with this one okay now 104 and the 70 okay and there is again a l shape which is uh, uh, differentiated with the 24 so what we can do here is from this end we we'll take up a line twenty four enter minus ninety enter okay so it goes up to ATM or else you can take a uh, reference from here it is again eighty and come down it is something like one L shape which goes from here and there will be two more lines which joins from this end then 24 enter 90 enter we will drop it ok so we can select everything and make it a 0.5 ok so this is how exactly it looks in the uh, top so we can just go the dimension so here it's 80 and the distance between
okay as so you can see here okay so in the top view there will be three lines 24 24 and 24 so those things you can see here 24 24 24 and one l shaped here okay which is again differentiated with the 24 so you can see here l shape differentiated with the 24 if you go on to this of this one so we can take it up from this point okay, here so that is also fine okay so now what we can do here is Keep it a little bit smaller. We can see the 3D picture of the given object in this way. The front and the side view and the top. Okay, similarly, you can just uh, refer to the states. Okay, in whichever the way they show the direction. Okay, say for example, here they have shown in this way, this is a front view. According to that one, we have drawn and we have drawn a left side view. Okay, so this is how exactly we can see. And in the top view, you can see first draw the outer line and then you just go on uh, identifying the lines which are going to appear. 